And first, I have two of India's leading gamers who had the great opportunity to spend time with the Prime Minister, uh, Naman Mathur and Animesh Agarwal, both top gamers. Excited to have you uh, tonight. Uh, Naman, Animesh, first, uh, Naman, I would like to ask you. like to ask you, you can answer in English or Hindi as you please. Uh, what is the experience of going to... Were you surprised to be invited to uh, the Prime Minister's residence? Were you surprised? Did you expect it? I mean, what was it about? How did it happen? Yeah, I mean, on a very short notice, we came to know that we have to visit uh, the Honorable Prime Minister uh, Narendra Modi ji, and we had to discuss about gaming, and that was quite a surprise for us, uh, all of us. And you know, uh, we I was previously talking to Animesh that we need this opportunity to talk about gaming because there's a lot that people need to know, and I'm glad that we got that opportunity. Yeah, it was exciting. I mean, I saw the Prime Minister was himself, Animesh, playing some games out there. How was that experience, explaining things to him? Was the Prime Minister quick in understanding? I mean, how it all worked? Oh, yes, was we have the most dynamic Prime Minister. He understands things too fast, too quick. It just took me seconds to make him understand how he needs to play on the VR. And he was able to grasp it really well. He had a very decent score that's going to come out once we have the full episode coming out on the 13th. Going to be an interesting one. Lovely experience overall. No, he, really? How is that? Tell me about it. Yeah, what is? What do you mean? He had a decent score. We saw him there with those, uh, with those virtual glasses. So, yes. Yeah, so we were playing a particular game. Give that's a scoop, geek man. We had to move his hands. I was fortunate enough to get a chance to explain him how that's done. I think he took maybe forty-five seconds to understand it from me, and then he was on his own playing it out, trying it out, having fun. Maybe uh, going back to those early young days and trying to uh, have fun. Overall, it was a very good experience, and to see him uh, get so well at it at the first go, I think that was something that just took all of, all of us by surprise. And Naman, was he chilled out? I mean, like you know, how did he come across from what you probably thought of him before you met him? You may have seen him on television, heard his speeches. And then meeting him face to face, yeah, how did he come? How did he come across as a human being? Yeah. You. It was amazing. I mean, the experience was crazy because when we met him for the first obviously, I saw him national creator award. Maybe I saw him there, and I saw that uh, he was quite a chill person. And then when we sat face to face with him for the first 10-15 seconds, I was, you know, uh, I was just looking at him, staring at him, and I was mesmerized. Uh, and and the way he spoke with us the way he uh, you know tried to understand all of us how our background was what our name means for example my gamer tag is mortal yeah. and he tried yeah. to understand why is it named mortal and these are all things which he noticed and that was really amazing bahut badhiya animesh you know i i uh, i saw the national creators awards what i liked was what i found amazing animesh naman is that pradhan mantri ji sabke sath one to one baat kar rahe the genuinely interested the joke kar rahe the means he was totally in the moment yani ki he was with you people magar his mind was in some bjp meeting or in some party office when he was with you and i think almost two hours he spent with you when he was with you 100% his focus was with you right did you feel that way Animesh, completely. From the moment he walked in, I think वो हमारे साथ ही थे. And the best part is, uh, you know, when he walked into and he's walking into a room of gamers, super enthusiasts, young, and you know, wants have so much to share. He had his own, uh, you know, inspire own things that he wanted to uh, tell us about, talk to us about. He had his own questions. So the point, what I'm trying to put here is, he did his homework. He did his research. It's not that he just walked into the room and just wanted to see कि आओ चलो आज क्या बताएंगे इन लोग सुनते हैं. The best part is. uh what i felt about him at the end of that entire session was even a vertical that has not gotten so much limelight in uh, in india a country with 568 million online gamers mm -hmm. but uh, here we are today speaking to the prime minister unhone is cheez ke bare mein kafi research kar rakhi thi unko pata tha ki unko hamare sath kya baat karna hai wo kis tarah se is industry ko aage badhta dekhna cha rahe hai i think uh, he was completely with us matlab kuch matlab He was with us at that moment. He made us feel so comfortable. It just felt like we were talking to a <laughs> member of our I'm family, just like how we were. I, I, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. He's 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 quite cool, isn't he? I mean, he Prime Minister comes across as quite cool, and India's topmost gamers saying they had a chilled out experience with him. Uh, I'm going to wait for the whole episode to come out on 13th. Animation, Naman, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're lucky, both thank of you, to have that wonderful experience with the Prime Minister.
And uh, Sanjeev Sanyal is with us tonight. How do I introduce Sanjeev Sanyal? Is he on air with us yet? Producers? Can I? Yeah, yeah, there he is. Uh, Sanjeev, good to see you, man. Good to what see a, you. I mean, you know, we're talking about brand Modi today, Sanjeev. It's all coincidence. You see, we're seeing this election. The election campaign is happening very differently. I began by saying it's all about brand Modi. Elon Musk coming to India, uh, the projected GDP numbers, the outreach to the youth, the influencers, the creators conference which held, was held recently, uh, the way people are reaching out through podcasts, including yourself. I think you're the most interviewed person on podcasts nowadays of late. Uh, and of course, uh, the Elon Musk visit. What is the significance of all this uh, to brand Modi before the election in your view, Sanjeev? Well, I can't comment on the politics and uh, the elections. All I'll say is that, look, the India's brand in the global markets has completely changed. And you can see that in terms, in many things. I mean, look at the fact that we are now included in global bond indices. Uh, we are, uh, the stock market, as you know, is at all-time highs. Now, markets, of course, are a fickle uh, indicator um, by themselves. But the fact is, if you combine it with the fact that we saw a GDP growth rate of 8.4% in the last financial year, this year, again, expected at least at around about 7%, making us, again, the world's fastest growing economy. And now you have the world's richest man coming and saying he's likely to invest into this country. As You know, this is, uh, in, if you take it all in as a package, then you can clearly see India's positioning in the world yeah. has completely changed. It, it is changing. You were quoted recently as saying, and I quote you there, Sanjeev, you said, India plans to push back against agenda-driven neo-colonial country rankings produced by global agencies on topics like governance and press freedom. This was one of those things. And I think you've done a great job of hitting back at them and exposing those so-called ratings, right? Uh, so I think this, in the run-up to the election, some groups are trying very high still, very hard still. Some groups are making a very big deal of some... Uh, you know, some news reports, they're trying to project India as a country that carries out assassinations abroad, a country that is becoming rogue, we are becoming majoritarian. But is there an appetite to accept this anymore? Or is it just that the circle, circle of people is becoming smaller, the intensity of their protests and toxicity is becoming uh, stronger? Well, they've been at this for quite some time. So uh, to be giving, give them credit that they don't just do it for uh, elections. They... They are at it day in and day out. So, But the interesting thing here is that you see these indices, uh, rankings, etc., that they come out with uh, are increasingly absurd. I mean, you're putting India, if you, there's something called the happiness index. Now, it turns out India is less happy than, um, you know, countries that are at war. Uh, you know, it's less happy than Palestine and Pakistan and uh, Libya. And, you know, so at some point in time, you've got to begin to question uh, the sheer absurdity of some of these indices. I think in the end, uh, we have got to uh, come to a point, uh, you know, where uh, we not just push back against them, but I think we have to begin to create our own indices and begin to rank some of these other countries. Because until we begin to rank other countries uh, and tell them, you know, how we see them, uh, this will keep going on. Okay, I know you want to avoid the political question, but I'll ask you anyway. Uh, is this election about brand Modi? I mean, the way you're seeing it. Tell me as a voter, <laughs> don't avoid it. I mean, is this election, well, I, I mean, the pre-election, okay, there, you don't want to talk about I the election. Let me tell you, the pre-election season, the atmospherics, is it becoming about brand Modi? Is, 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 well, is the well, atmospherics exactly about the, brand Modi? There is no question that Prime Minister Modi is a very defining factor in the brand that India has built. And this is, not just in the field of economics. Last year, we had the G20. And, yeah, uh, you know, he used the entire G20 uh, uh, platform in a way that has never been done before. Uh, and after all, there, are, there were G20s before that, and there is currently also a G20 presidency. But the way Prime Minister Modi used G20 to position India as a, not just a rising power, but now a, you know, power that has arrived already, uh, is absolutely unique. And you are seeing that happening repeatedly. As I said, you know, you will have Elon Musk coming in and announcing a, a major 
uh, investment. Um, you know, uh, you you can you can see that uh, the way the world perceives us has very fundamentally changed. And very important here, uh, may I add that all of this brand uh, change in the brand, the economic performance of eight percent plus growth, all of this has been achieved by the way in an environment where the rest of the world has been entirely unhelp unhelpful. I mean the. Global growth has been tottering for a long time. We have wars in two parts of the country, uh, two parts of the world at least. And uh, without the help of the rest of the world, we have been generating these growth rates. And without uh, macroeconomic instability, yeah. I mean, inflation isn't blowing up. Our foreign exchange reserves are in decent shape. Our current account is in yeah. uh, a reasonable place. So, you know, it's not just branding. That's what I, I, I it's, it's, it's based on actual performance. No, no, it's not. It's, it's based on Absolutely, it is. Uh, viewers, as I close with Sanjeev Sanyal, he's been a macroeconomist, has worked with Deutsche Bank for a very long time, very respected global economist. Uh, keep in mind one thing, of course, he's an advisor uh, to the Prime Minister's Economic Advisory Council, but if, if you say that Sanjeev Sanyal is biased for that reason, keep in mind G20, stock market, Musk, uh, impending free trade agreements, the GDP figures, everything's pushing in our direction. So even if you take what he said with a barrel of salt, you'll still find some reason in it. Sanjeev, we've got to meet soon. You've got to do that podcast with me soon. You do podcasts with everyone, not with me. I'm going to catch you and get I you into one. Us. And I'll pull a headline out of you. <laughs> Look forward. Thank you, Sanjeev. Thank you. Okay, bye. Thank you.